Hey y'all and welcome to Fatty's Box. I am Fatty and today in my kitchen what I'm cooking for the week is uh, chicken fried rice. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about the ingredients. First of all a lot of these ingredients they're kind of difficult to find and they're a bit pricey so i'll name them off and i'll show you the things you will need um it's chinese five spice you'll need a soy sauce or a dark soy sauce um i highly highly recommend a fish sauce salt pepper vegetable oil and whatever accoutrements you want to go in it for example i have garlic which um i'll buy garlic and it's already in the big um, cloves and I'll chop it down, I'll put it in oil, I'll pack it in oil and pack it in herbs. Um, you'll need ginger. You'll need two scrambled eggs, which I've already scrambled and I do have them at room temperature, not like they're hot. But um, I don't want anything cold going in the pan. A little bit of granulated sugar. You'll need your chicken, of course. You'll need your rice and you'll need your vegetables. So here is all of my vegetables. So I have peas, carrots that are frozen. I have green onion, the green part and the white part, a little bit of corn. I have mushrooms, onion, and frozen broccoli. Um, as for the rice, what I did was I had to do a little bit of research about cooking fried rice at home. So I went online and everything that I was seeing was saying, you know, it's better to have your fried rice cooked and let it be a little day old. You put it on your pan, like you see I have here. Um, you cook it for about 10 minutes, no more than 12, because if you cook it too long, it'll get mushy. And you don't want mushy rice in your uh, shrimp fried rice, vegetable fried rice, whatever it is you're cooking. Um, so you cook it, you oil your pan, you put your rice on it. And so when you, you run your hand over it, the next day it has that um, day old rice feel. And just so you guys know, in my sink over here, I have bleach, bleach water, and dishwashing liquid. Wash my hands frequently. But anyway, um, that's the rice. It's already pre-cooked. I did, oh, I believe I did three or four cups. Um, because I'm going to be having this for my work week and I want to make it stretch and then also have dinner you know at home or whatnot and also you need your chicken this is two large chicken breasts um, when it was somewhat still frozen I diced it up it's easier to cut chicken up like that so what I did put in here I put garlic pepper and a little bit of salt and some Chinese five spice. I put the Chinese five spice in it this morning. So let me show you everything. So this is the soy sauce. I love all these. So I shop there a lot. Um, I had to go to Kroger to find the fish sauce. By the way, this fish sauce was like four dollars. Chinese five spice. This was five dollars. This stuff is expensive. Um, but it has such a good flavor to it. The garlic pepper. Um, this is a Save a Lot brand, and this is regular ground black pepper, which I picked up at Kroger's. Um, you guys know what salt is. I got salt, and I have vegetable oil. Now, you do have the option if you would like. You can do peanut oil, but because I don't have peanut oil, I'm going with what I have. Um. And I do have somewhat of a peanut allergy um, to macadamia nuts and uh, water chestnuts. So I try to watch my nut <laughs> intake. But anyway, so we're going to start doing it. We're going to heat our pan. And this is not alcohol, y'all. This is just a little bit of sparkling water with ice. So you're going to heat your pan up get it as hot as you can and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook matter of fact I'm gonna take all my tops off of my seasonings too that way and pop the tops on everything make sure you shake everything up well 
pop the tops everything is open and ready and accessible um, so you're just gonna start with just a little bit of vegetable oil in your pan this is just to cook the eggs and then I'm gonna put the eggs over to the side I will season those with a little bit of salt and pepper just a little bit but not very much you swirl your oil around in your pan like so and the music in the background I do not own the rights to it it is a gentleman who is on uh, YouTube it's called cave cat seduction um, the more you watch me the more you will learn I love jazz and uh it's just something that I that I enjoy. It's peaceful. You can get the day done. It doesn't offend anybody. I can listen to it at work, etc., etc. So, just waiting on this to get hot enough. We want to get a little bit of bubble before we throw the the eggs in there. So, anyway, like I was saying the other day, what inspired me to do the channel is first of all, there's someone that I know who's very close to me, and um, I had mentioned to this person. I said, you know. I think I want to start um, a YouTube channel but not just for food but doing several different other things so anyway he was like yeah you know what you should do it and you already have a couple of videos that you've done already blah 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 and I'm like yeah you know I had to think about it so I had a conversation with my mom the other day and she says you know you got to make more time and do things for yourself hmm so start a YouTube channel is quick doesn't cost you very much money um, because I've been in the hair industry for so long those of you who are watching that don't know me um, I've been a hairstylist and my pan is hot enough I'm gonna throw the eggs in there um, I've been a hairstylist for oh gosh over 10 years 15 years and so I've met a lot of people along the way I've also modeled um, done that quite a long time too and as I go you guys I'm cleaning up because once I'm done with this I have a couple other things I need to get done today so I'm going as I cleaning as I go um, but anyway I've just met a lot of people over my 38 years of life and so I usually know someone that knows someone that can do something that I need. So I've become very resourceful. But anyway, um, the eggs, you guys can see, are just about done. You don't want them to brown, but you do want them to be done. You don't want to be eating raw eggs. And I do know some people who eat raw eggs, and I'm not a fan of that. All right. So, our eggs are done. We can take them out and put them to the side. Now, we're going to put more oil in the pan because now we're going to cook. And you want a decent amount of oil in the pan. Make sure you swirl that around. It doesn't matter if you got a little egg residue in there. It ain't going to hurt nothing. I'll turn my heat down a little bit. going to put my chicken in here and because I don't want to constantly have to wash my hands I'm going to put, put it in with my tones it's going to sizzle when you throw it in there that's all right all right And remember, um, you guys, that whatever you do, I'll be back in a second. Um, while you're cooking in your kitchen, do your thing the way you want to do it. Um, as, this, as the show, the, the title of this is called Fatty's Bot, this is Fatty. And Fatty's going to do it the way she want to do it. Now, I might learn something new from somebody else, but um, I know everybody's a damn critic, but... Um, I just do things the way I like to do them. But anyway, chicken's in the pan. And 
you get it smooth in your pan. My heat's not up too high, but um, my chicken, as you can see, is starting to turn white. So I'm just letting that cook. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to, oh and oh, guys, if you do this rice the day before, make sure you put oil on the bottom of your pan. If you do not put oil, your rice is going to stick to your pan and you're going to have a hot mess. So I'm just going to lift the rice up a little bit. And I may not use all of this rice. Um, and if I don't, I can freeze it and I can uh, use it for a later date and my freezer is up well my refrigerator is up so high that it froze some of our rice in the back but that's okay we just won't use that so make sure you oil the bottom of your pan you can put a little cooking spray on it you can put um, I put vegetable oil on the pan just because I didn't want it to stick so that's ready and that's raised up and you also want your rice to be sorry about that you want your rice to be cold you don't want to put warm rice in this dish you want the rice to be cold and it's starting to brown up really good let me get my satchel here Um, the chicken stuck together and you do want to take your chicken out beforehand so that it's room temperature before you cook it you don't want it to go into a cold pan so while I'm doing this I am working with someone to get me a banner made I'm even thinking about having t-shirts made fatty's box YouTube something like that would be cute um, I think it'll be a good idea so yeah we just keep on cooking the chicken and guys this really doesn't take very very long it's quick when you have everything pre-prepared like I was smart I was gonna cook this yesterday but I said nah I don't want to I'm let your chicken cook. I didn't take out a serving plate, but I'm taking one out now. Because I will taste it on camera. And I know it's going to be good. You really want to try to brown your chicken too. It smells so fragrant. That Chinese five spice. That's um, it's something. It has kind of like floral notes to it. it. Smells really good in here. This old piece of chicken right there. Chop it on down. And I cut my chicken kind of like in bite-sized pieces. Um, I don't want the chicken to be too big. Chicken just cooking, just cooking, just cooking. Um, you also have the option, I always try to have a pan top available um, you can put that over top of your eggs to keep them kind of warm but it's not really necessary because everything is going to be cooked again and so this is my ginger and my garlic what I do with the garlic is I chop it down pretty fine or chunks whatever I'll put like a lot of different herbs in it like oregano parsley rosemary whatever um, it might give your rice a different flavor 
because it does have a little bit of herbs in it, but just so y'all right, you're making your chicken fried rice, shrimp fried rice, however you want to make it. And so what I tend to do is I just use whatever I have in my kitchen. If I don't have it, um, I can afford to sometimes go get it. Just depends on what it is. Put that there. Wash the plate. That had raw chicken on it. Put that back on our plate. can see but the chicken is starting to get pull out a couple pieces if I can get a couple pieces right. struggling to get this one piece of chicken out to show you guys so you see how it's starting to get brown, kind of crispy, little crispy bits? That's what you want. That's what I want. Now, you might not want the crispy bits, but I like a little, a bit of a crunch um, with my chicken. And so the chicken is almost done. I'm going to let it keep cooking. I'm going to just let it sit. And in the meantime, while I have that going, going to start chopping up this watermelon I have and start chopping up my pears. Because this is something for work. I love, I love, love fruits. And love fruits. It's the best thing to have in the summertime. It's refreshing. You can fill yourself up. It's not that expensive. This watermelon smells good. Look at these rinds, guys. Very, very nice looking. Alrighty. a little water on my top of my foot okay so this sound indicates oh yeah that's what I'm looking for right there everything has got that crispy bit on it that perfect golden brown we keep on stir frying it I'll let that cook a little bit more still chopping up this old water melon up here So this week I'm having watermelon and uh, pears. Last week I had grapes, carrots, and grapes, carrots, what else was it? Grapes, carrots, and apples is what I had last week. What I do is I normally just put it all in one big bag and eat it that way. Put it in the Ziploc and carry on. All right. I'm hearing that sizzle again. Yeah, baby. That looks good. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer and let you guys see. Look at that. See that nice golden, golden brown you got there? That's what you really want. So because I have a little extra oil in here, I am going to put a paper towel down just to catch some of that oil when I pull this out. If need be, see a couple extra pieces that are not quite where I want them. 
but in there. I'm gonna let that go just a couple more seconds. Watermelons are so hard to cut up. that hot now if you did this with peanut oil you definitely have a higher smoke point okay guys start pulling some of this out now I want to keep the oil because I'm about to use that on my veg pull all of that out If all your chicken pieces are not super crispy, it's okay. Um, but you do want to, you have a better flavor when you have that golden brown color. All right. So I'm going to let that sit. And now, this part's going to go kind of fast. Garlic in the oil, ginger. And then you do just need burnt garlic and salt. Alright. That looks good. Might need to put a little bit more oil in there. So the next thing I'm going to Mmm, smells so good in here. The next thing I'm going to throw in is my onion. And this is just a yellow onion. No, excuse me, white onion. I throw that in. And then, try to get all my onion in there. You want it to be kind of a white looking. And I'm going to determine how much rice I'm going to put in here based on what my veg looks like and plus my pan is not that huge so got to be mindful of that too. All right. going to put in my mushrooms. Some of your other vegetables might fall out too but that's okay. I'm going to put my little corn in there. I got a little bit of corn. Let that stir fry. Really, you want to coat those mushrooms. I like my mushrooms to uh, still have a bite to them. I also like my carrots um, to have a bite as well. Yeah, I need a little bit more oil. So I'm just going to push everything to that side of the pan. And just add a little bit more vegetable oil. All right. I don't know if I just mentioned that I like for my vegetables to have a little bit more bite to them. Um, if I didn't, I do. I'm going to add my frozen peas and carrots. And the last thing we're going to put in is the broccoli. Um, just because I like them with a little bit more bite. Alright, we're cooking now, y'all. And really, these vegetables are already cooked. Um, the peas and the carrots. You don't have to do much, but you do want to make sure that your mushrooms are fully um, immersed. You want to make sure that your carrots, excuse me, not your carrots, but your your onions are like translucent. Like that's good right there. It's got a good crunch to it. And so now, I'm going to throw my chicken back in. And I'm glad I put that paper towel down. Took some of that oil out. It's really going to stir fry everybody together. Peas, carrots, onions, mushrooms. Now 
what I'm going to add is a little bit of soy. Now this is soy sauce, light soy, low sodium soy. Not too much. I just want to stir fry that. That's good. And then your fish sauce. It does not take a lot of fish sauce. But what I would recommend is when you do add your fish sauce that you taste a little bit because um, a little bit of this goes a long way. You don't want it to overpower. Now while that's stir frying, I got a little bit of granulated sugar. You put just a little bit of sugar in there. Not much. Just a pinch. That's for a little bit of caramelization and balance with the sweet and the salty. Alright, now we're going to add our broccoli. And I like a lot of broccoli, guys. A lot. So I took a whole bag. I'm not exactly sure um, how big the bag was. Let me see if I can tell you. Oh, that. These are broccoli florets, and as a matter of fact, Alf had them on sale. 12 ounce bag, 95 cents. I'm all about trying to save a book. Alright, so you see our pan is starting to get kind of full. So, and the one last thing, let's see if I can find it. If I can't find it, I'm going to put it in here. I think that's it. A pinch of turmeric for color. Get a fork. I just want to taste. Does need more fish sauce and more soy. Go ahead and put your pepper in. A little bit more salt. Just a pinch. That's enough. Don't need nothing else. Yep. Now, what I'm going to start doing is by big handfuls, grabbing my rice, putting my rice inside. Okay, so that's three big handfuls of rice. which is about three cups of rice. You want to start to go from the bottom of your pan up and just stir fry as you go. Just keep stir frying. Now, once you get to a certain point, you may feel like you need more, um, more fish sauce, or if you have sesame, you can use sesame too, but you have to be sparingly with the sesame, not, not too much, because sesame can really overpower too. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more soy and another big handful of rice. I think that's all the rice I'm going to add. Now you can add pineapple to this. That is optional. 
I love pineapple, but I do not have any, so I'm not adding any. And at this point, I had just a little bit of turmeric. Now the turmeric is just for color. Most of the time you go to the Chinese house and get your, you know, your Chinese, whatever, it's kind of yellow. I believe they use saffron in the rice, and saffron is expensive! Add more soy. You do got a lot of rice. I got a lot of rice here. And most of the time, you guys, if you watch me cook, I ain't gonna measure. Because uh, my mama taught me how to cook with flavor and with passion and with love. And I ain't got time to be measuring how much season salt. How much uh, turmeric, how much this, how much that. I go based off of the eye and what dish I'm cooking. So, yeah. Now, I do measure when I'm baking. Most of the time. But, because I've been cooking for so long, I pretty much know what, how much of this to put in. I'm going to taste it in. Fish sauce. And that's it. Nothing else. You can throw the green onions in here. At the end. My leftover rice. I'll put that in the bag and save that. Use that for another meal. I'm going to take a little green scallion. And put that on the top. Turn your heat all the way down. Because the rice is pretty much done. I'm just trying to incorporate everybody. And so I'm now going to put some of this on a plate. And always garnish with just a little bit more green onion if you'd like. But this is going to be my lunch. Let me pull the camera down a little bit. There is Fatty Boss's Chicken Fried Rice Baby. Let me taste. Try to get a little bit of everything in here. Little piece of carrot, little piece of broccoli. Mmm. 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 That's good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is really good. Want to stick to the pan. Cutting my heat off. I'm done and now <coughs> put all of this in a big big bowl. You can freeze your chicken fried rice. I'm just gonna dump this out in here. And this is done. This extra rice I'm going to put up. But as you see, I have a huge bowl. So this is enough for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I should have some left on Saturday, but it depends on how many people come over today oh and the egg I forgot that's all right you can just take your egg and put it on top totally forgot to put that in there you just stir that on around 
Egg is in there. Eggs are already cooked, so no harm, no foul, baby. So, you've got a one pot meal that will feed. Ooh, this could easily feed uh, six, seven people. Um, no, no, no worries about having enough, uh, not enough for anybody. Um, this is plenty for five to six people. You're doing it for a small crowd and you know they're not big eaters you might be able to get away with i don't know maybe 10 people you could stretch it out who knows now you can also get creative which i like to do and that is mm, i'll take leftovers and i'll go and buy wonton wrappers i'll take this rice put in a wonton wrapper fry it in some oil and then i've got some fried rice fried chicken ch chicken fried rice wontons or whatever mm. god this is good you want to bite come here baby come on put your mouth up there yeah mm. this is good mm. anyway guys that concludes this segment of fatty's box I'm about to put the rest of this rice in here and put this in the freezer just like so try not to waste anything Of rice no problem I can use this for if I make rice and gravy or if I make smothered chicken I got a bag of rice same thing as you buy it in the store the instant rice this is pretty much what this is except you know you cooked it yourself and oh when I cooked my rice I cooked it with just a little bit of salt. Um, other than that, that was it. And I like to smush my bag down like that. Put it in the freezer. It's done. This is through. I don't have to worry about that. So, guys, as I said, I'm looking for my top for my bowl. Uh oh. Oh, wrong one. I'll find the right top in a minute. But for the meantime, I'm going to put this bowl, this plate right here on the top. So, this is concludes Fatty's Box. I hope you guys enjoyed my first episode. And I hope to see you guys back soon. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your pa that Fatty Box is on the YouTube. Ooh. And chopsticks for the rice. Y'all have a good day. I hope to see you guys back again. This is the Fresh Faced Fatty signing out from Fatty's Box. <laughs>